So today I will be showing you guys the easiest way to unlock the new weapon Wacky Zashi in Cold War. This was added in the mid-season update and requires you to get two finishing moves in a single game 10 times in order to unlock it. And trust me, when I was first trying this, I died over and over again and I was literally about to give up and so I just thought I'd try something new and to my surprise, it actually worked. I managed to get both finishing moves in 10 games all in a row without even failing once. One tip that I will say is make sure you remember to stay in the game after you've done these kills. If you get the two kills and you leave, even though it's counting up, you will not unlock the weapon at the end. And when you restart the game, you'll see that you've gone back to zero. I've seen so many people saying that the gun won't unlock and it's due to a bug, but it's not. It's because they are leaving their games. You must play the entire game for it to count. Anyway, let's get on to the method. So for this, you want to be on Nuketown 24-7 and try and stay away from Hardpoint. Just, just trust me, stay away from Hardpoint. If it's on that, you want to just quit and restart until you get away from it. The best way to get these kills is just to camp behind the doors in either of the houses. And yes, this gets pretty damn boring, but there are so many opportunities for you to get these finishing moves. As someone runs in, just run behind them and hold the melee button to execute the finisher. Of course, you have to hope that they are the only person that comes in because even I have been killed by a second person coming in a few seconds after them. So it really is down to RNG in that aspect. Oh, I actually almost forgot. Make sure you have perk greed on and you have both ghost and ninja. And I know this probably now thinking, what is the point in ghost if you are literally lying still behind a door? Well, all you have to do when you hear enemy UAV above is just move left to right to stay invisible. You have ninja on, so nobody will hear you. Also, put on smoke. So you can throw the smoke at the door to run into the corner without being seen. There's, there's been so many times that the smoke has come in clutch for me, and that's it. That was the method. It really is as simple as that. I managed to get both kills by the time the game was only halfway done every single time so then i just started working on my other camos until the game was finished please just remember to stay in the game until it finishes anyway guys i'll end out the video there i just want to show some gameplay of this in action on zombies because this knife's so fast and it's so fun to use when playing cranked so thank you all for watching and do subscribe if this method has helped you out or if you do enjoy my content enjoy the gameplay and peace out